this video I'll be showing how to get your album art and track information to show on a CD I'm on the project page right now in studio one and normally what I do I don't list any track information on each track I normally just go to the main section here to where this information will populate for each individual track that you have on your project. So everything should show when I burn this to a CD as far as the composer, the arranger, the genre, the year, the album art, all this information will show up during this process. So the first thing we're going to do is do a digital release. And I have everything checked. Let me just change this to my desktop. Okay, now you can see the album art is with the tracks. And I'm going to go ahead and burn these onto a CD. The program that I use is called Express Burn. When I tried to burn the CDs through iTunes, none of the album art or track information showed on the CD, but this particular program, Express Burn, does allow you to add all of the album art and track information that you added in Studio One. And now it's gonna ask me what type of disc I wanna create, and I'm gonna do an MP3 CD. And I'll go ahead and give it a name. And I do Create. And now I'm going to add all the tracks. And now I'm going to burn them to a CD. Okay, the burn is complete. And now I'm going to open up the disc and show you the track information and the album art. Now you can see the album art there, the titles, everything that was put in, and now let's check out the rest of the information. So I have this open in iTunes. and As you can see, everything is here, the song, the artist, the album information, the genre, the year, everything I had listed in Studio One is here. The artwork is also here as well. And this is currently the method that I use to burn everything onto a CD. I've tried to burn CDs through iTunes and none of the information seems to populate. So this particular way works for me and I hope it works for you as well. Thanks for watching.